Ms. Mace. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Chairman Comer, for your leadership. In less than 100 days of subpoena power, this has been one of the most in-depth in investigations the House Oversight Committee has ever had in recent history. And I would hope that the media here today would put as much attention and interest and focus on this as they have a former president. For years, the left has said, no one is above the law. Well, put your money where your mouth is and prove that because the American people do not trust the federal government. They don't trust Congress. They don't even trust current presidents because of the kind of possible and alleged corruption that we see at every level of government and no one is ever held to account. I try to call the balls and strikes regardless of whether or not you have an R or a D by your name. I've been accused, all of us have been, over this particular issue that we're conspiracy theorists, we're not. What we're proving to you today is showing you actual bank records, actual evidence of shell companies and businesses, or more businesses and more Bidens involved that we knew of. You have to issue more subpoenas because every time we turn over a rock, there's more information, there's more possible corruption, there's more possible allegations that need to be investigated. This is what we know today. Money flowed from the Chinese Communist Party aligned with uh, with individuals into American shell companies, and then that money was wired and transferred to Biden family members. This could be the most corrupt scheme in American politics where a sitting vice president, where we saw members of his family, nine members so far, there may be more, that were enriched from countries all over the world. And we're providing more information about Romania today. We know about China. We know that the president denied this during an election in 2020, continues to deny it to this day. And we want uh, everyone held accountable if they have, they have violated their oath of office. Um, we shouldn't have folks that are in office that are betraying their oath of office. We shouldn't have people in office that are betraying their country. If they're paying loads of cash to their family members from adversaries of ours around the world, it's wrong, whether you have a, a Republican or a Democrat by your name. And uh, we saw evidence of intentionally taking steps to hide the sources of money coming directly from China through a series of financial gymnastics. Joe Biden's political career uh, was winding down at the time, and this was one of the Biden family's last chances to cash in on the name. We have evidence of Chairman Yi Jingming, who is believed to be affiliated with Chinese Communist Party intelligence organizations and has even been accused of a gathering intel for Communist China. Yi started CEFC in China. His agent in America, Gong Wendong, which, uh, which uh, Andy Biggs mentioned earlier, formed CEFC Infrastructure Investment U.S. on May 11, 2017. On May 18, 2017, Dong used one of his Chinese companies, Shang Huaxin, to fund CEFC infrastructure in an attempt to hide the source of the money. And you see this pattern repeated over and over and over again. On June 30th, 2017, Shanghai Huaxin sent 10 million from China to CEFC infrastructure. Then on August 4th, 2017, CEFC infrastructure wired 100,000 directly to Hunter Biden's own corporation, Owasco PC. Hunter's Owasco also received a half a million from another entity affiliated with Yi, State Energy HK Limited. State Energy HK appears to be part of Yi's personal slush fund that potentially commit bribery and launder money. The Chinese Communist Party affiliated entities may have bought influence with the Bidens that they couldn't get otherwise, and obviously for good reason. These alleged layering schemes are repetitive. They knew what they were doing, they knew how to do it, and they did it multiple times all over the world. If it looks complicated and sounds complicated, it was intentionally made to be complicated so you could not follow the money. And what we're trying to do today is show you how to follow the money. <coughs> the Committee of Oversight, we need to pursue the Chinese relationship with the Serbian politician Vuk Jaramik, who first attempted to introduce Yi to the Bidens in 2015. From August 2015 to June of 2016, State Energy HK paid Jaramik's company $3 million. When Jeremick ran for UN Security General, who did he turn to? It appears he turned to Hunter Biden. On June 16, 2016, Jeremick wrote to Hunter asking if he could meet with the Vice President's National Security Advisor, Colin Call, related to the elections for UN Security General. The meeting appears to have happened because on July 2, 2016, Jeremick informed Hunter that my meeting, quote, with Colin did not last very long, but it, it didn't go too bad, I think. What is suboptimal is that the office of the vice president seems to be outside the decision-making loop on the UN Security General elections issue. 
These people didn't come to Hunter Biden because he understood world politics or that he was experienced in it or that he understood Chinese businesses. They wanted him for the access his last name gave them. Access to the Chinese Communist Party they couldn't otherwise get. In March of 2017, the same Chinese company that sent $3 million to Vuk Jeremik sent $3 million to one of Biden's associates, who siphoned off 30%. As Annie Biggs mentioned, we see that repeated over and over again. Siphoned off 30% or a million dollars to Hunter Biden, James Biden, Hallie Biden, why, they, why she would need that, and an unknown Biden bank account. The committee has written to Vuk Jeremik and Rob Walker, but they have both refused to cooperate with the Oversight Committee. The Biden family needs to answer for this, and the DOG, DOJ needs to get off its ass and investigate. We've done the work for them so that they can't screw it up now. If these allegations, any of these allegations are proven true, then someone with the last name Biden needs to be charged, prosecuted, and maybe spend a little time in prison to take to account and responsible for the actions they've taken today. Also, as mentioned by the chairman, I want to thank you. The legislative priorities we have of our committee, this is not a witch hunt. This is not a conspiracy theory. If there are anti-corruption laws that need to be made stronger, we will also do that. And I appreciate your time today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thanks for